Aloha, friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name's Don, and last week I showed you exactly how to make my six flour pizza dough completely from scratch. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to make my simple, quick, and delicious pizza sauce. Be sure to hit that like button and click subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Now, Rod, bring that camera on in here, don't be shy. Let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Okay. First thing you're gonna to wanna to start off with are 800 grams of San Marzano tomatoes. These are canned San Marzano tomatoes. Why canned? Because they've already done the work for us. It's so simple. They've already taken these beautiful tomatoes and cooked them down in their own puree to make this beautiful consistency that we have here now. So if you wanna use your own tomatoes, by all means, go right ahead. I'll leave a link to my MCK 101 class to show you exactly how to peel and seed your own tomatoes. But for this purpose today, we're going to use 800 grams of canned San Marzano tomatoes. Why San Marzano tomatoes? San Marzano tomatoes are a Roma style tomato that has a very low moisture content. So it lends itself very well to things like pizza sauce. To our San Marzano tomatoes, we're going to add eight grams of fresh basil leaves. I don't like to use any of the stem. I find it to be bitter. So just pick them off as best you can. Next, four grams of Himalayan salt. Trust no one, season everything. Motto to live by. Followed by 16 grams of extra virgin olive oil. What the olive oil is going to do is bring everything together and give it a very nice mouthfeel and just kind of smooth it all out. And my last but not least, my secret weapon, 20 grams of apple cider vinegar. Why vinegar? The vinegar helps bring out the natural acidity in the tomatoes and really helps make it pop. So next, you're going to take a stick blender, nothing fancy, just a big old stick with a blade at the end, you push the button and watch it go. So you're going to find a tomato in there, get right on top of it, pulse it just a couple of times, find another tomato, get right on top of it, pulse it a couple of times, so on, and so on, and so on, until your sauce is beautifully smooth and just where you like it. Get right on top of those basil leaves, Give them a good pulse. Make sure you really get everything nice and incorporated. You don't want to blend this too much. It'll become so liquidy that you won't want to use it for pizza. You just want to blend it enough. That's why we're just making small pulses here until we get a beautiful consistency just like that. and you are done. I told you that was a simple, quick, and delicious pizza sauce, didn't I? I wasn't lying to you. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can find out what's cooking next. As always, I can't thank you guys enough for your support. It means the world to me. So from the bottom of my heart, many mahalos and much aloha.